can't get that at Steak and Shake. That might be an off the menu item, actually. And go out on a limb here, lady and, and gentlemen, and say that this is going to be sort of a religious experience here. Well, that might be one way to describe it. Oh, wait a oh. minute. Well, we are in Texas, and sometimes this is how church looks on Sunday. We're off to the races here. This is Ladies Night Out 7 wait a minute. Live oh, on the Title goodness. Match Network. And Faye Jackson and Harlow O'Hara not being oh, friendly. Wait to each other on social media, and it looks like this will continue. Uh -oh. Look oh, out wait here, a minute. right in front of us, an up close and personal view at this Twitter feud that has come to the World Gym Arena, and it's gonna explode here tonight. Wait a minute. Faye Jackson uh -oh. reaching out of the she ring. Oh, uh -oh. wait. Well, I do not believe this is not a no disqualification match. Well, she set her down. Oh! oh! Cross body on the chair. Faye gets in there. She breaks up the referee's count. And she did a little twerking. She twerking a little something. Twerking a little something. A little something. <laughs> well, we have seen uh, quite a few interesting things so far oh. here tonight on the live broadcast. And it looks like this will continue. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, hold on uh -oh. a second here. Oh. They're right over here by our technical equipment. And she's twerking oh. on her. Oh. Oh. She's bending it over, yes, making it clap. Queen. Reminds me of my days at the Debonair Lounge. Oh. Oh, I was really? gonna say, I don't think the uh, the timekeeper's assistant over there needed to uh, pay a couple of oh, yeah. oh, my goodness. Get some more torque, she's dancing for those dollars. She Fans will make great. her dance. Look, oh my gosh. Well, I don't know who's gonna win this oh. matchup, but there's a good chance that uh, this recap will be on page six tomorrow. Sunset flip over the top Popping here. Play. Roll up two. two. Oh my oh. goodness, a super kick that turns off the breaker box. This could be in here. Cover one, two, oh. no. I think Harlow had too much milkshake. I, I think she had too much. She was done. Oh man. Well, Faye was planning on asking Harlow if she wanted some fries with that, and then she gets kicked in the face. Oh, they oh. slapped in the face at that. It was already hot in here when the prelims got started tonight. It's about 111 now here in the World Gym Arena. Ladies Night Out 7 live on the Title Match Network. We have uh, witnessed some wardrobe mal malfunctions here tonight. We've uh, had some twerking. Cover here. One, two. You definitely are on the right stream, though. Don't think you went down. The internet dark web here this evening, I mean. Oh, you, you didn't. You don't have to pay for your subscription with Bitcoin, that's for sure. But nevertheless, here we are. And Ivory, you know, I bet you're, you're glad you weren't late for your flight for this one, huh? Hey, who are you telling? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh wait a off minute. Off the second rope, very impressive here. All that thickness down on Harlow O'Hara, I mean thick with two C's, Matt Topolsky. Harlow here trying to feed Faye her last rights. Again, this matchup for the Battle Club Pro Icons Championship. Title implications in this one. Swing and a miss. Forearm to the midsection. Oh, oh no! A well-placed placed knee that says good night, Faye, no! 
two and three quarters. Well, there's a reason Harlow O'Hara is the champion. She's going to do whatever it takes to make sure she walks out of the world, Jim Marina, as the champion. And Faye Jackson taking a beating right now, man. Well, I'll tell you what Faye Jackson said before this matchup here tonight. Not only does she want to embarrass Harlow, after those words on Twitter, she wants to take her title as well. But right now, I don't think Faye is seeing clearly at all. Ooh, no effect. That had no effect on Faye. She likes it. She's getting fired up. And now, Faye Look Jackson. Out. Oh! oh. Oh, man, she's putting that thing right I in her face. I don't think she has a backup camera. Look out here. Oh. oh. Cannonball into the corner. Does Battle Club Pro have a new Two, champion? Three. Oh, no. Oh, my Lord. I think she got drunk off that milkshake. I think she got drunk. Was that a boozy milkshake? Yeah, I think so. She I might have so. gotten chocolate wasted. Harlow ducks underneath. Innovative reversal. And then oh. a flurry of offense here from the champion. A knee to the back of the head. You'll never see it coming. Now she's just taunting Faye Jackson. Oh! Sorry, Miss Jackson. She is for real. Here it goes. One, two. two. The challenger stays alive. She calls that the absolution, but that absolutely did not keep Faye down. So it's hard to kick a thick I'm mama down. <laughs> you speak from experience, Mr. Gilmore. Hey man, those <laughs> files are sealed. But here we go now. Harlow O'Hara. Well, Harlow looking for a fisherman suplex there. Oh, look out. Incredible oh. power here from Faye Jackson to win the Battle oh. Club Pro Icons title. Harlow slips under the fence. And this match continues. That was a big Samoan drop. Ladies Night Out 7 live on Title Match Network. Some top drawer action here. Oh, knife edge chop coming back from the champion. Say Jackson crashes the champion's party. Does she have any gas left in that tank? Shoulder first into the post. Arlo! Oh, oh my, my goodness! Oh. A fisherman's brain buster that puts the lights out like Labor Day counter! <laughs> Woo! An impressive seesaw matchup with a ton of devastating offense. And so much more, to say the least. Well, still your Battle Club Pro champ, Matt. Although Aaron, I wonder if Miss Jackson even knows where she is right now. Faye put up a hell of a fight, but at the end, Harlow had enough, and she fed her her last right. Yeah. 
Mike Madrid, the queen of Spain, taking on Amber Rodriguez, who's making her ladies' night out debut. Amber, a former Maryland Championship Wrestling Women's Champion in her own right. So both of these two athletes with championship experience under their belt. Brittany, if you were putting your chips on the table, who do you got? I have to go with Amber Rodriguez. She is coming back from being gone for almost four years. She joined the military in that time. She still works for the military, standing guard in Mobile, Alabama. She had a baby. She has a beautiful little two-year-old girl, and now she's back to claim this ring as her own, and she's got more people to fight for now. Well said, more mouths to feed, more responsibility, and that definitely tap into the championship pedigree that we have seen in the past from Amber Rodriguez. Michael Madrid been wrestling all over Texas and making a name for herself as well. Also competed against Alex Gracia in her ladies' hideout debut. Risk control here early from the Texas women's champion, yes! Mike Madrid. No! And look at that right there. Amber Rodriguez perhaps looking for a sidewalk slam. Micah Madrid getting a head scissors. Didn't get all of it, but got enough to break up any momentum being built there from Amber Rodriguez, body avalanche in the corner there. I mean, Micah, she is a three-time Texas women's champion. She does know the ring. She has that. She is the queen of Spain. And so having that, two, kick out. having that kind of ring awareness to be able to avoid that sidewalk and go into a head scissors is, is exactly what a champion is. An attempt here again. Look out at two, and Amber Rodriguez trying to light a spark here. Oh! Caught in midair. Pick out at two. Did not take long for this matchup to escalate. Was not expecting Micah to catch Amber Rodriguez right there, but that, that is what a champion knows. They can feel it. They feel when it's coming, and they know how to attack. that kneecap into the small of the back now trying to rearrange the vertebrae of Amber Rodriguez is Micah Madrid she is not a licensed chiropractor but she is going to take her hat off roll up her sleeves and have a go at it Amber has to be feeling so much pain right now but she's still trying to fight out in this crowd this crowd wants her to fight out of it I mean you can hear them chanting for Amber Clubbing blow to the back there from Micah Madrid. Nice roll up reversal from the corner. Not enough as the two separate. Amber Rodriguez trying to keep pace with Micah Madrid, but Micah Madrid just a split second, a tenth of a second ahead. Hooks the leg here once again. Gets that shoulder up. Thank you to everyone joining us live on YouTube on Title Match Wrestling. Ladies Night Out, of course, is brought to you by Title Match Wrestling Network, titlematchnetwork.com, where you can see one of the largest libraries in the world of women's wrestling, shoot interviews, wrestling documentaries, original programming, podcasts, and more. Take advantage of that two-week free trial right now at titlematchnetwork.com. You won't be disappointed. And still to come this week, AQA returns to action. We will see the 18-year-old prodigy, the reality of wrestling, Diamonds Division champion, Roxy. She went from taking a Greyhound bus to the World Gym Arena to grabbing the keys of that brand new whip, that championship whip for Roxy. We're going to see the Hurricane Pro women's champion, Heather Monroe, and of course, thick mama pump, Jordan Grace, and Miranda Alizé, but a tilt-a-world sidewalk slam from the three-time Texas women's champion trying to put it away. Kick out at two. Amber still has some fight in her. I'm, I'm gonna have to say, I'm still going with Amber. I mean, like I said, she has a lot to prove in her debut match here. And even though there might be some ring rust from being gone for so long, she's still proving that she can be with the best of them. 
Well, the Vegas lines right now moving in the favor of Micah Madrid. However, Amber Rodriguez, does she have a secondary gas tank she can tap into at the moment? She will need it. As this pupil of Rudy Boy Gonzalez is all over Amber Rodriguez. Elbow strike, perfectly telegraphed. Irish whip into the corner. Amber Rodriguez doing everything that she can, Brittany, to try and harness. Oh, that is not, that does not feel good. Wow. She's constantly working on that spine. Shades of one of the greatest ECW wrestlers of all time, Tajiri right there with a tarantula stretched across the first, second, and third cable attached to that turnbuckle right there. And now, here we go, pin attempt once again. Pick out at two. Have you ever had that done to you? Again, that is why I sit right here <laughs> in the comfort of my own personal living room with the best seat in the house, Brittany. It is a wonderful seat, isn't it? I mean, it is. I'm really comfy yes, right get now. Get comfy. Amber Rodriguez, bicycle kick. Follows it up with a face buster. May have done some damage to her lower back there. But will this be enough? Hooks the leg. Wow. That scream, that was a guttural, like that was the scream of a Valkyrie right there. She, she's feeling it. She needs to amp herself up for to continue with this match. Inside cradle from Micah Madrid. And that can't keep Amber Rodriguez down. And perhaps there is some truth to what you have said, Brittany, about Amber Rodriguez. There just seems to be another gear that she hasn't switched into yet. I think we see this gear coming. Oh, oh. An attempt right here. Oh, feet on the ropes. Micah Madrid will steal the W. as everybody else out here. Um, somebody needs to pass me my, my blood pressure medication. Uh, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, take it away, Brad. <laughs> We're live, pal. And here we go, Miranda versus Scarlett here right now. And Matt Sapolsky, you talked about what Miranda has done since becoming um, a member, a participant in the Mae Young Classic. She has really honed her craft. Look at her right now, trying to improve all assets of her game, including that submission ability. Look at this. Oh, she's biting her! Oh, wait. Well, it's not exactly what I meant. But nevertheless... Well, she's certainly thrown that uh, that princess oh. gimmick in the trash, hasn't Hold she? on here. Well, I... Well... Switch seats, Isaac. Well, well all, all joking aside, I mean, yeah. Brad Gilmore, Miranda really has stepped her game up. It's like I said earlier, she appeared in the Mae Young Classic last year. She broke into professional wrestling right here at Booker T's World Gym Arena and the reality of wrestling. She was competing in the Diamonds Division for years, went away, made a name for herself on the independent circuit around the country, and now she's back here tonight at Ladies Night Out 5. Oh, wait, hold on now. Well, smack to the seat there. Oh! Well, that's a wake-up call. Oh! Well, this is a first time for everything, Matt Sapolsky. Uh, oh, wow. This is over the top here from Miranda. Arm drag in stereo. Back again, drop kick from Miranda. These two trading shots early on, and it is a heavy-hitting affair. Just a one count. 
Oh. Oh! Wait a minute! These two are just slapping the hell out of each other. They're tagging each other in their left and right. Out of the bright lights of Ladies Night Out, trying to make an impact, if you will. Miranda trying to get this crowd behind her. Perhaps some of the mind games of Scarlett Bordeaux has been working, but now... Oh, oh man. Just shoves her off the top rope there. Out to the outside, Miranda. What a, with a nasty fall. And Scarlett's coming to the outside to pick up the pieces. Well, you know, there is, there's a sadistic side to Scarlett. Uh, make no mistake about it. I mean, she was trained by Al Snow. Good grief. Suplex on the outside! Oh, my! Well, this is a high-intensity affair. There's only one place you can see it, and that's live on the Title Match Network at Ladies Night Out 5. Bordeaux shoots Miranda back into the ring here. Can she take advantage? She's going to some big kicks into the ribs. Oh, and to the back of the head. And that just ticked her off, and now... Another clubbing blow to the lower back of Miranda as Scarlett whips into the corner. Oh, beautiful splash. Head of steam. Well, that's the reality of wrestling sometimes, Matt Topolsky. You think that you have well, that's the, the reality skill. of something. You think you have skill on your side. Somebody like Scarlett will come out here, play some mind games with you, throw you off your game just enough for her to take advantage like, oh, like that. Incredible Miranda move. dropped right on her head. That's got to be all a devastating maneuver from Scarlett Bordeaux. Had to have been muscle memory that allowed her to kick out there. Both I of mean, these women are leaving it all out here, Matt. I mean, Tupolsky. I'm telling you, Brad, this... Somebody needs to call Walker, Texas, lawyer, because it looks like a car wreck out here. It looks like a demolition derby between these two. A professional wrestling match, I think not. A fight, a brawl, yes. Oh, oh, spear right, right there. there. If Miranda can capitalize, that would have been all. But that may have taken every ounce of energy she had. on a full vertical base, but still throwing shots at each other right there in the center of the ring. Well, I don't know how either one of these at this point are operating with a full deck. I'm gonna be honest oh, with you. Wow. They are literally beating the living hell out of each other here. Forearm shot after forearm shot. That's number five, that's number six, number seven. Just, just going at it here. Scarlett Bordeaux imposing her will on Miranda. Oh! Shot right there to the face! Miranda, head of steam, looking to take advantage here. Coming back, drop kick into the corner. Can she take advantage? She is in perfect position. Oh, and another drop kick right to the ribs of Scarlett. And she pulls her out to the center of the ring. This could be it right here. One, two. And there we go. Scarlett rolling off to the outside. Well, Scarlett Bordeaux here is going to take a timeout. And, and, and I don't blame her, Brad. Oh, oh man. baseball slide from Miranda. Miranda says there are no timeouts at Ladies Night Out. Oh, oh and she spears her off the apron. You've got to be kidding me. And throws her back in the ring. Well, this is certainly a different side of Miranda. Oh. Oh. Caught her in midair. That looked like an RKO. Cover. One, two, Miranda. What a monumental. Kick out at two and a half. I think the entire World Gym Arena thought that was going to be a three count. Once again, the testament to the fortitude of Scarlett Bordeaux. <laughs> a fisherman's brain buster. Center of the ring. That's got to be it. One, 
two. Miranda kicks out. What in the hell is it gonna take for either of these two to be put down once and for all, Brad? I am not entirely sure, Matt Topolsky, but they have been beating the ever-loving hell out of each other here at Ladies Night Out 5. You can only see action like this on the Title Match Wrestling Network. Roll up, roll up, schoolgirl here. Kick out at one. Looking for that shot right there, didn't get all of it. Scarlet Bordeaux looking to finish it off here. Oh! That's lights out count to 100. Scarlet Bordeaux. with an amateur wrestling background. Lindsay Snow trained in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. This has the potential to be one hell of a fight. And the dramatic cries for Nancy coming across the broadcast here. Nancy, let's look alive. I don't know how we're, necessary that was, but hey, we're we put back in the ring. Live, pal, you know? Nice work, you see? That's what she was being called. There you go. Sizing each other up here right now. You know, Brad Gilmore, you and Booker T talk about MMA quite often on your successful radio show and podcast. The Hall of Fame. Let me, let me ask you, look at what you're seeing here in the room right now. What are your thoughts on Lindsay Snow and her, her jiu-jitsu background that she has? Well, I'm looking forward to seeing her implement a little bit more jiu-jitsu. Right now, she's too busy turning uh, her opponent's chest into chopped beef. Oh, man, look at that high knee, too. Lindsay Snow, an enigma in many ways, Matt Topolsky, and I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. Look at that, boom. Strength, size, ability. Layla Hirsch may be down for the count here in the opening seconds of this matchup. Oh, man. Swing and a miss, though. And Layla Hirsch. Oh! Oh, my goodness. Off the Smirnoff, Layla Hirsch. Layla Hirsch! Gee! Oh, like a compact wrecking ball here. Taking the fight to Lindsay Snow. This is what Ladies Night Out brings to the table. What a fight. These two look like they should be in an octagon, not a wrestling ring. Well, you can't do that at the UFC. A big dive to the outside. Well, it's a good thing the governor of Nevada's not sitting here ringside right now. Wouldn't be the first time he's been put in harm's way. Oh my goodness, and she comes for seconds. She's like a Russian nesting doll. She just keeps coming out, Matt Topolsky. Wait a minute, though. Oh! Lindsay Snow. Rolls through here, going for that arm bar, center of the ring. This is a fight, make no mistake about it. Both testing each other's physical limits early here, and both testing each other's respective disciplines as well. And now Lindsay Snow, judging by the hair, you'd assume there's relation to Evan Snow. Able to get back up. You see a hip hop drop? I, I doubt. Oh, I was I was wanting to see one. One, two, three to the four. Here comes Lindsay Snow. One. That the referee said there's, there's only kind of one. I'm glad that he pointed that out because I almost missed it. You know, we have some of the best officials in all professional wrestling. You know that? We do. We do. Five more. Who 
We've really upgraded over the years. I mean, if that's what the one looks like, I can't imagine what the three's going. Oh, man. Big kick to the side of the thighs here. What a European uppercut from Lindsay Snow. Layla Hirsch and Lindsay Snow beating the ever-loving hell out of each other. Trying to steal the show here at Ladies Night Out 8. Oh, man, wow. Devastating lariat. Will it be enough? Two. Count here again. One. I think that was just a one count, Brad. I think you might be right. Only one. Oh! Could you imagine if there was a count out in this match? And here we go back at... Oh, man. Trying to go for a knee lift. Don't think she got all of that. German suplex here! Oh, oh man. my Beautiful. goodness! Beautiful! A snap German suplex! Oh. As Gordon Sola used to call it! Cover here! One, One two... two. Somehow, Lindsay Snow rolls the shoulder over and slips out the back door. Oh man, look, I don't know if she just spit a tooth out or what, or she was... Well, here we go, though. Come on, come on! Layla Hirsch. Going up top, Matt. Lindsay Snow. Oh! Ladies Night Out here tonight, but Lindsay Snow proving to everyone that she may be the one to look at in 2020, especially here on future Ladies Night Out editions. Well, wait a minute, though. Layla Hirsch able to go through and looking for that arm bar. Once like, again, does she have it all? no stranger to Matt wrestling. But she cannot get that arm extended, Brad. You see, you see her shoulders, you see the strength that she's got in her upper body. Lindsay Snow, another display of it right there. Perfectly executed suplex, almost a brain buster. But not a three count. Layla Hirsch showing incredible intestinal fortitude and Lindsay Snow looking to oh, take her effort One, to the ref two. team, but no, a school girl there, kick out. Coming back this time from Layla Hirsch. It's hard to keep up with the heavy hitting action in there. Now Layla Hirsch, what is she thinking here, Matt? Oh, oh my. A springboard moonsault. Both these women continue their battle inside the squared circle. Roll through here. Layla Hirsch will be interested to get the suplex on Lindsay Snow this time. Wait a minute. Now Layla Hirsch up to the penthouse level. It's oh. all perfectly executed this time. Cover one, two. Layla Hirsch with a victory in her Ladies Night Out debut. Well, break out the Russian vodka. What a fight. Oh, oh. my goodness. And it's not over yet. Well, Lindsay Snow, not too pleased with that loss that she just suffered. Oh, and this brawl's continuing on the outside here. And the official has to get between the two of these. Probably be the most popular thing he does all night. This brawl continuing to the back here. 
between Layla Hirsch and Lindsay Snow, all hell breaking loose early on here at Ladies Night. Absolutely not. And here we go, the main event. Falls count anywhere between Ivelisse and Jazz right here at Ladies Night Out 5, live on Title Match Network. It is underway and it is getting started fast and furious here. She still has her jacket on. Like, that's how much this is just cut, like, cut right to the action. This is intense. Oh. oh, can you imagine where it's gonna go from here? Now, what is your experience so Barbie Hayden with Eva Lee? Eva Lee obviously has a huge mean streak right now. It's on display. So I will say uh, my my experience with her has been visual only. She and I have actually never faced one another, and you know, kind of watching right now, not a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Believe Elise certainly has a sadistic side to her, but Jazz is no stranger to taking things to the extreme either. Barbie Hayden, who do you think would have the advantage in this matchup, knowing that it's false count anywhere? I am actually going to have to go with Eva Elise on this one, and the only reason I say that is because she has a little bit more of that, you know, you don't know what I'm going to do. I have that trick up my sleeve, you know, type type vibe. Whereas Jazz, I think, is going to be more of your heavy hitting competitor inside of the ring. Absolutely. And we've seen Eva get extreme here at Ladies Night Out before. You mentioned it a couple times in the broadcast match post against Kiara Hogan in that steel cage main event a few months ago. She's not afraid to get dirty. She's not afraid to get hurt. She's not afraid to take a bump or two. Well, I think that's one thing that, that makes, you know, that's, if there's any commonality between these two, if you will, it's the fact that I think they both take great pleasure and enjoyment in hurting the competitor standing across from them. Absolutely. But now we're... Seeing Ivelisse get Jazz down. Jazz trying to get out of it. Does Ivelisse just sign up for these things? Is she just, like, refusing to do normal matches? And she's like, any stipulation where I can, like, absolutely, you know, torture my opponent and give her the most pain? Is that what she signs up for? Yeah, it could, you know? it could very well be. That could be her thing. <laughs> I'm starting to think that's what she does. She signs up and looks for these things. She's looking for blood. There were a few fans for a little cover here. One and a kick out. Oh, there were a few nice. fans earlier here today. They were at the local Home Depot, actually, taking selfies with Eva Lee as she was over there purchasing ladders, chairs, everything else that, you know, was on sale. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm sure that will come into play at some point here tonight, knowing that it is falls count anywhere. There are no rules. I actually have no idea why Isaac Bullion is even in there. Well, he's there for one reason and one reason only. That's to count the winning fall in this contest. For a fall count anywhere, we've seen a lot of wrestling here so far. Not as much brawling as you might expect in a stipulation such as this. You know, really, it could just be like that filling out factor with these two ladies because they know that they want to win at any cost, but it doesn't, that doesn't necessarily mean that they have to start killing each other right off the bat because who's to say she doesn't get a pinfall or a submission right here, you know? Right, and, and not have to take all that damage on your body. Or, exactly. Or, I believe Elise working on that hammer lock from behind right here on Jazz. No, no. Oh, wow, Jazz look at the strength. Here. That's one thing, Barbie Hayden. Jazz is very strong individual. She is, she's something to watch. Oh, and she's quick too, look at her. <laughs> she has not missed a step throughout her entire career. Has not fallen off at all, Matt Topolsky. Well, and this is the thing too, Brad Gilmore and Barbie, that when, when, when you look at this, as an independent observer, Eva Lise has built a very impressive resume for herself over the last few years. There's no question about it. But Jazz has to be a measuring stick for any professional athlete in the women's division of professional wrestling. There's no question about it. You know, Matt, uh, not to not to correct you on that, but I think that Jazz might be a measuring stick for any professional athlete, man or Agreed. woman, in the wrestling Agreed. business because her longevity has been uh, it, it's incredible. Absolutely. There's. I really cannot name many people who have been in it as long as she has and have remained relevant and tough. I mean, look at this. She's using her strength. She's using her speed against somebody who is younger than her, you know, and, and she's keeping toe to toe. Absolutely. Obviously scaring her out of the ring. Yes, yeah, it's <laughs> definitely a point of frustration for Eva Lise. And a she stare came down, this though. matchup. Oh, okay. And once okay. again, I mean, something, 
Did you run over her cat or something? I mean, what happened here between <laughs> the two know. of you? Okay, so first off, I would never run over a cat. Okay. I love cats. I, you know, my, my kitty well, is my say, baby. It could have been accidental, you know. No, 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 no. I, you know, maybe, maybe this is my Your luggage maybe. gets switched at the airport. I mean, something Perhaps. has happened here. Maybe she's trying to build a friendship and use me against Ooh. Ivelisse. Maybe that's what this all is. You know? Could be. Could be. Four-dimensional chess by Jazz, but right now these two are on the outside. Falls count anywhere. It can happen in the ring, on the ramp, or in the parking lot. Reversal. Oh. Here's Jazz face first oh. into that post. And there is the first moment, the first moment of extreme, if you will, in this Falls Count Anywhere match. And you know Ivelisse damn good and well is going to try and take advantage of this. And if this matchup goes into overtime, it will be available on the network later on here tonight. An extended edition of Ladies Night Out 5. You know, I don't like the way that they're uh, coming this direction because they might use one of us. Oh, oh that may have broken a hand. Oh, my God. Eva Lee swung for the fences and she connected with steel. Oh. Oh, dirty tactics right there. Oh, right there in front of the ref, too. I forget this, you know, there's no disqualification, so she can break well, the look, look out, look out, look out, look out. Oh, right here in goodness. front of us. Jazz staring down Barbie oh. Hayden. As long as she doesn't hit me, I'm okay. What? I don't want to throw what you under the bus, Barbie. Me? Please hit him. Please hit him. Hit him, not me. Whoever you got to get, oh, he's not man. me. I, I'm starting to think that maybe she doesn't like me. I think you're all right. Well, what gave you that impression? She's about to say <laughs> the same thing. I'm trying to be oh, optimistic. Oh, man. Oh. That's solid steel support beam. And Eva Lee's with a kick to the side of the head on Jazz. Oh, and here we go. You oh, know, where's she going? Where's she going? Oh, wait a second. Eva Lee's has grabbed one of the production cables here. This is where Ivelisse is going to be dangerous. This right here where she can just be creative, be maniacal. Oh, no. Oh, come on. Oh! oh. Jazz trying to outmaneuver Ivelisse. Did so. Oh. Oh, wow. These two women. It's well, been Johnny, nonstop. Jazz, Jazz just out-muscling Ivelisse, forcing her into the ring, and now she's just choking the hell out of her with one of those production cables. And it's all legal, that's the crazy part. This is a pin, this is a pin attempt. Well, here we go. One, two. <laughs> and again, we want to remind everyone at home watching us live on the Title Match Network, if this matchup goes into overtime, it will be available on the network later on tonight. Do not fear, because of your subscription, you will see the main event of Ladies Night Out 5 in its entirety. Cover here from Eva Lise. That reversal, now she's trying to strangle Jazz as well. As you stated earlier, Barbie Hayden, it is all legal, 100%. Oh, look at this, though. Now Eva Lisa on the back of Jazz, choking her with that cable. She might pass out after this one. Exactly. I think Jazz was bringing her back into the ring so she could feel more confident. Now Eva Lisa's already taken back over. I mean, Barbie Hayden, you have prepared for hundreds of professional wrestling matches in your career, but how in the hell do you prepare for something like this? I think you have to just go in with that mental toughness, that mental stability of knowing that you have to think on your toes, you have to know that you're going to get hurt, and you have to just be opportunistic. You have to see what's around you and utilize it. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, it's win at any cost, and especially in this case. Well, right now, these two ladies trying to use anything that's not nailed down. Double underhook suplex perfectly executed by the Hall of Famer Jazz. And Eva Lee's taking a powder for just a moment. You are watching Ladies Night Out 5 live on the Title Match Network. Coming to you from the World oh, Gym Arena. This could get really dangerous. What if they go off of the stage here? Well, that is metal oh. grating the same type of diamond plate that you might find on the toolbox in the back of a pickup truck. Certainly not designed for human bodies to be crashing on it. Oh, what are they gonna do here? What are they gonna do here? I'm so anxious now. Oh, oh wow, not right Eva, there. Eva Lee, though, she's getting the hell out of Dodge. I mean, can you blame her? And you can see the frustration from Jazz, who is stalking Eva Lee right now. It's a bit of an unusual situation for Eva Lee because normally she's the aggressor. Oh. 
Eva Lee's trying to go into the ring to grab something. Jazz cut her oh. off, and now Jazz. <laughs> gone back on her now. Ivelisse was trying to get that chair, and now Jazz gets to use it however she would like. Oh, no. Oh! oh. Jazz now going for that cover. cover. Here. One, two! Once again, to remind everyone at home, it is false count anywhere, and there are no rules. Now, Jazz. Oh, oh, wait, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Both female athletes have been reaching under that ring, and uh, no, there are not infinity stones under there. It is uh, foreign objects. Very dangerous one. Oh. A ladder, a chair, a cable, all being employed now in this fight. What is going on here? Oh! oh. Knee to the face! She might be out on this one. She may be out with the one, two, three. Let's see if Ivelisse can Ivelisse can looking for the roll up here. here we one, go. two. Oh. I don't know if Jazz knows where she is right now. <laughs> well, stiff kick to the face by Ivelisse. No, wait, hold on now. What is she doing? Oh, oh. This fight continues. Oh! God, Matt. Now a Solid shot, shot right to the gut. Oh! And now Eva Lise taking the brunt of the punishment here. Jazz dishing it out. Sends Eva Lise back into the ring. See, this is this is where she feels most comfortable. You can tell because she keeps trying to bring it back to the middle, where she knows that at least she can outpower her, even if she's not using these weapons and not using the things around them. She knows that she can outpower Ivelisse here in the middle of the ring. It's an excellent point. There are no surprises inside the middle of that well-lit ring, and every time Ivelisse steps to the outside, oh. she's looking for some inadvertent DDT there, cover two, and a kick out. And right there is why you cannot count out Ivelisse. She's dangerous outside, she's dangerous inside. And really, with the way Jazz is kind of having her like sassy attitude tonight, I really don't hate seeing it. I don't mind. And now these two trading shots in the center of the ring. And we want to remind everyone at home once again, if this matchup, which is live right now on the Title Match Wrestling Network, goes into overtime, it will be available on the network later on here tonight. Just a reminder for everyone at home, if you are a subscriber, you will see the main event of the Lady Night, Ladies Night Out 5, excuse me, in its entirety. A little tongue-tied here. Oh, oh. Because of the chaos going on inside the ring, drops the leg. This could be it. Jazz trying to finish off Ivelisse. Not so fast. And the match continues. Right, and right there is where you get to see the pure athlete side of Jazz. And then here, her just being smart, she knows that she can wear her down in this position because obviously she can get her, you know, down for the one, two, three. So now she can just wear her down. She doesn't even need the weapons. Excellent point, and this is exactly yeah. Jazz's strategy. Ground and pound. Yeah. Lay on your opponent. Use that weight and that size advantage. I'm taking notes. I'm taking notes. Either way. Definitely a nice study session for you, Barbie, here at ringside. Well, by the look she's been giving you, it's either going to be one or two things. She wants a fight or she wants to take you out for a drink, so. <laughs> right. You know, I guess we'll find out here momentarily. As long as I'm not in Ivelisse's position right now, I'm good. <laughs> oh, I spoke too soon. <laughs> really not that's Ivelisse's just position. It. That, there it is. That's, that's the broadcaster's jinx. I know. I said something and then she gets nailed. Oh, she's talking to me? Is she seriously? Was that a threat? Is she threatening me? Well, she wanted to make sure that you saw it. That's oh. for sure. Eva Lee's responding here. Oh, it takes a shot right oh. to the face. Now she responds. Oh. And the tempo being pushed here in the fifth gear between these two. Eva Lee's and Jazz teeing off on each other here with some knife edge shots. Now shots, forearm shots to the face. Reversal here. Series oh. reversals. Eva Lee's goes spine first into that steel ladder. And what? more talk. What is she? You know what? More trash oh, come talk on, Barbie. to Barbie Hayden. Come on, Wait, Barbie. On. Come on, Barbie. Now, Barbie Hayden has left the commentating table. Come on, 
Barbie. What the hell is going on, Matt Topolsky? Barbie hated oh, it. Barbie hated with a shot on Jazz. Barbie oh. and Danny T on the chair. Ibelise rolls up Jazz center of the ring. Cover one, two. Ibelise gets the W. Ashley Bull has the official introductions. in Texas professional wrestling for both Ivory Robin and Barbie Hayden and a bit of history and as you pointed out earlier Brad Gilmore bad blood between the two of them as well interestingly enough at ladies night out four it was Jazz that was trying to get into the face of Barbie Hayden a lot of people trying to get a piece of Barbie Hayden right now for one reason or another. What do you think, do you think that another. is? Why do you think well, that I is? I think part of it's professional jealousy. I mean, I think you see it in the locker room. I think you see it with many other female athletes. They're looking at Barbie Hayden. They're saying, that should be me. I mean, her star is definitely on the rise right now, and that makes her a target. So you're saying Ivory's jealous? I'm not saying Ivory's jealous. Well, that's what, that's what I'm I just not said. even sure Ivory asked for this match. Maybe Barbie asked for this match. Hell, maybe you asked for this match. Are you booking this thing? No. No? Okay. Well, here we go. An interesting submission hold there by Barbie Hayden. And Matt Topolsky, what do you say is the one part of Barbie Hayden's game that has evolved the most in her career as you've seen her grow? I would say her athleticism. There was a time when Barbie Hayden was, was more of a methodical athlete, would try and take advantage of her opponent on the ground. I think you're seeing more and more athleticism from Barbie Hayden as she continues to evolve as an athlete. And that's the thing. That's how you stay in this game for as long as Barbie Hayden's been able to stay in it, is constant evolution, getting better. you got to reinvent yourself, and I think she's done a very good job of that. We are live on Title Match Network. A huge... Huge card scheduled here tonight. Angelina Love will take on the girl on fire, Kiara Hogan. Eva Lee takes on Jazz in a Falls Count Anywhere match in our main event. So much still to come. Stick around. Oh, face first into the knee. Ducks underneath, side suplex. Perfectly executed from Barbie Hayden. Hooks the leg, cover here, but just a one count. And both these two with a wealth of experience inside that ring as well, Brad Gilmore. Hey, no, you're absolutely right. And we've seen, like you said, you've seen Barbie Hayden grow. We've also had the pleasure of seeing Ivory Robin grow here in the reality of wrestling after winning that Diamonds Division Championship not once but twice. She's traveled around this entire country. <laughs> And honed her craft. Wow, that was a good stunner like jawbreaker right there and a big boot to the temple of Barbie Hayden. Barbie Hayden may be out right now. She looks like she's on Dream Street. And now Robin going for a pin attempt here. That is smart cover, but a kick out at one. Not sure how. I thought Barbie Hayden had been knocked out there. Oh, and a boot right to the face. Blatant disrespect from the Black Diamond. Wow, and Ivory Robin acting like the disciplinarian that she is and just putting the punishment to Barbie Hayden. Face first. 
And that's the thing right now. Barbie Hayden's going to have to try to find a big offensive maneuver to not Ivory Robin down long enough to oh, gain her breath. Hold on. Here come her one, two. It was a nice reversal, but could not hang on for another half second. And another big boot once again from Ivory Robin. The Black Diamond certainly living up to that moniker here tonight. Looking for that suplex. Oh! Just face plants. Oh my oh, goodness. No. This is just a one, two. This has just been a one-sided affair, man. It really has been. Game. I mean, this has been a dominant performance by the Black Diamond Ivory Robin. We talked about this before the match started, Brad Gilmore. She's got many other irons in the fire, if you will. Her star is also on the rise, and perhaps she's looking oh, wait a minute. to really One, make an effort here tonight to make everybody remember the name of Ivory Robin, oh. neckbreaker. Every time Barbie tries to mount some sort of counter or offense, Ivory Robin is right there. And now the crowd trying to get Barbie Hayden back into it. Ivory Robin with a head full of steam. Oh, man, knees to the gut. Ivory Robin with another pin here. It is one, two. That's it. Oh, wow. If something doesn't change in the dynamic of this matchup here in the next few minutes, this is going to be a dominant runaway performance by the Black Diamond. No, it definitely is. This is going to be one of the biggest upsets in ladies' night out history. Barbie Hayden has been at every one of these events and has been a staple in the women's professional wrestling movement in Texas. And for her to lose like this in such a dominant fashion, that makes her stock go way down in my book, Matt Topolsky. It's not over yet. Ivory Robin on her back. Oh! Back elbow. A third. Really out of desperation here. Inflicting whatever damage Barbie Hayden can. Oh! Nice drop kick to the low back. Barbie Hayden feels like she's got a second win here. Oh! And that's that athleticism that I talked about earlier. Really turning it on here. Head scissors oh, over wow. the top. Barbie Aiden, here she goes. Oh, and another nice drop kick to Ivory Robin. Can she get the pin here? Cover here. Hooks both legs. One, two. Isaac Bullion a little bit out of place there. Could have been a three count. But now Barbie Hayden has gotten back into this match. Momentum has shifted her way. Fisherman Soup play. Oh! One. She brings on bridge, cover two. Some would call it perfect, and it would have been if she had gotten the three. But a kick out with a tenth of a second to go, and the match continues. Beautiful. How the tables have turned, and how Barbie Hayden has somehow found her way back into this matchup. Very impressive. Now I re Robin. Here we go, she's looking for that TKO. Looking for that TKO. Counter. Oh, wait, hold on. Top rope DDT. Oh, look at that. Cover. One, two, forget about it. Hey guys, it's Booker T and you watching Title Match Wrestling, Ladies Night Out Underground. This next match, Serrano versus Jenna Lynn. You're gonna love it. It's gonna be perfect. Hailing from Dallas, Texas, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Serrano. <laughs> and her opponent, coming from Houston, Texas, ladies and gentlemen, Jenna Lynn! Jenna Lynn, the Sultaness of Shaolin and the Black Belt Diamond. 
of Ladies Night Out taking on Serrano, who is a seven-year veteran from Dallas, Texas, looking for a spot and a future on the Ladies Night Out roster, yeah. and why not? Oh. He doesn't seem impressed in the least bit at Jenna Lynn. Jenna Lynn doesn't exactly look like a dangerous athlete. I mean, no disrespect by saying that, but I will tell you something. When she starts laying those kicks on you, it is a quick reminder of just what she's capable of inside that ring. Yeah. And you know she's gonna wanna put her martial arts background to the test in this one. Not too bad. Once again, and you will see this in frequency here at the underground. Both of these athletes had about a 24-hour notice on who their opponents were before this matchup. So not exactly a lot of time to go on a scouting trip, if you will, the Madden Telestrator not being pulled out here. This is a lot less about strategy and a lot more about physical ability and athletic prowess inside the squared circle. Yes! Jenna Lynn trying to get the upper hand here early. We want to remind everybody at home that's still to come in our main event as well. It's Thunder Rosa versus the pink dream, Alex Gracia. What a high stakes main event for the first episode. Serrano, a tremendous athlete as well. Yeah. Jenna Lynn has to be fully aware of that in this matchup. Get out of it. Oh. Woo. Yeah. Both wrestlers jockeying for position here early. Jenna Lynn powers down Serrano. Serrano swings right up, and then look at that. Jenna Lynn sweeps the leg. Rolls over the top. Arm drag perfectly executed, make it two. Jenna Lynn just a step ahead of Serrano here early on. Head scissors, nicely done. Jenna Lynn with a bulldog here. It could be a short night of work for the black belt. Kick out at two. Channeling her inner Mortal Kombat here, Jenna Lynn. Hitting the turbo button perhaps a few too many times, and now Serrano inviting herself to a two-woman boot party in the corner. Snapmare over the top, Serrano. Drop kick on Jenna Lynn in a seated position. Serrano springboards over the top there. Comes down with all that body weight, kick out at two and a half. Jenna Lynn, more frustrated than anything. Let's go, Jen. As she started out this matchup in complete control. Now it sucks. <laughs> Ladies Night Out Underground, all about featuring the future stars of women's professional wrestling. Serrano looking to take her place here and almost did. That is a near fall. If you like what you see and you are not yet a subscriber to Title Match Network on YouTube, make sure to smash that subscribe button and check out titlematchnetwork.com. Subscribe today. Kick out at two. Jenna Lynn, waist lock from behind. Looking for a German suplex, perhaps. Holds on. Serrano changing position. Shot to the gut. Coming back. Neck breaker nicely done. Jenna Lynn kicks out. Jenna Lynn still trying to find her footing in the world of Ladies' Night Out. Serrano making her debut at Ladies' Night Out. And what an impressive debut it would be if she's able to get the W here in the underground. Of course, this is an opportunity 
for future athletes to showcase their talents and perhaps be featured on a future Ladies Night Out broadcast. And with LNO 7 just weeks away, Serrano looking for the opportunity to be featured on that card. A win here this week may very well put her in position to do just that. Business and the Irish whip into the court. Jenna Lynn powers out. This time escapes out the back door. Running kick. Jenna Lynn trying to treat Serrano here like a Wing Chun dummy. Ducks underneath. She's having her way right now. The Sultaness of Shaolin going to work on Serrano. Big drop kick. Will it be enough? Hooks both legs. Center of the ring. Serrano slips out the back door. Gets that shoulder up at two and three quarters. Both competitors here. Exhibiting tremendous intestinal fortitude and athletic ability. That's a shot right there to the dome. Jenna Lynn slips through the ropes, was looking for a DDT to finish it off. Oh my goodness, what a lariat from Serrano! That lariat turned Jenna Lynn inside out, and now Serrano looking to put an exclamation point on it here and get her first dub at Ladies' Night Out. Serrano in the high rent district. If she stays up there long enough, it will be a nosebleed. She comes down, she got the splash, and she gets the three count. begins right now. Angelina Love and Kiara Hogan. Tonight it is for bragging rights, but in the future it could be for something even bigger, including main eventing. A future ladies night out event here on the title match network. Kiara Hogan's star continues to be on the rise in women's professional wrestling. Angelina Love has been there. She has been at the top for years. A former six-time TNA Knockouts champion. A former TNA Knockouts Tag Team champion. And still to come, it's false count anywhere as Ivelisse takes on Jazz. Kira Hogan shooting Angelina Love in the ropes. Angelina Love with a big shoulder block. Oh, oh the oh. kick right there. Talk about shifting the equilibrium. Angelina Love, full tilt, ran right into it. Oh, oh. Kiara Hogan. A little hot Atlanta side kick right there. Kiara Hogan measuring her. Oh. Angelina Love gets out of dodge at the last moment. Oh! Face buster, this could be it. Hooks both legs, center of the ring. Could be a short night of work for Angelina Love and Kiara Hogan, but kicks out at two. And look at Angelina Love. After the near fall, goes right back to a side headlock. 
trying to wear down Kira Hogan. That is what being a veteran in this sport will get you. She knows exactly what she has to do in order to walk out of here with a win. Absolutely. I have to agree with you 100%, Brad Gilmore. No wasted motion, no wasted time staying on top of her opponent because she knows what Kiara Hogan is capable of. And you don't want Kiara Hogan to catch a hot streak. Oh, wow. Super kick from a seated position right to the jaw. Could be lights out. Kick out of two. And Angelina Love, veteran-like maneuver, getting to the outside, utilizing the referee's count of 10. Angelina Love getting a break as a result of Kiara Hogan trying to confront her there. Vicious clothesline from Angelina Love. Tries to take advantage with that lateral press. Kiara Hogan slips out the back door. Brutal right hand. Slam by Angelina Love. Absolutely. Once again, no wasted motion. Picks her up, puts her right down, follows it up, does it again. Angelina Love looking for a power slam. This time from the shoulder, she got it. This could be it. Three slams in a row, Kiara Hogan. Fights her way out of that pin for the match to continue. But Angelina Love has been in complete control of this thing almost from the, the minute the bell rang, Brad. Yeah, and if you're a longtime fan of Ladies Night Out, I don't think many people would have called this one. What is going on here? Oh. So vintage Angelina Love. Drops that elbow right in the heart of the girl on fire. She kicks out defiantly, this time at one. Inside cradle, block that suplex. And that might have been the spark, well, I was about to say that could have been the spark that Kiara Hogan needed. Impressive drop kick there. Very close. That is a near fall. Kiara Hogan trying to fire up the crowd here at the World Gym Arena. Oh! But perhaps her opponent should have been her first priority. And Angelina Love takes advantage yet again. Cover one. Angelina Love has done a very good job, Brad Gilmore, of, of keeping Kiara Hogan grounded here in this matchup. Absolutely. She came in here with a game plan, and she's executing it to perfection. Once again, there's that headlock trying to wear out Kiara Hogan, not letting oxygen get to the brain. Muscle movement decreases. Oh, wow, look at that, a jaw buster right on top of Kira Hogan's head there. Kira Hogan. Coming back. Make it two. The girl on fire now picking up steam and... Oh. This 
could be it, this could be it. Cover, one, two. Kier Hogan now. Kiera Hogan finally getting into this match. Crowd behind her. She goes up top. Oh. oh, what is this? Angelina Love. Oh. A Samoan drop coming off of that top rope. This could be it. Another kick out. Kiera Hogan and Angelina Love having a can you top this? In the first part of our co-main event. Oh! Oh, and a nice code breaker. A code breaker by Angelina Love on Kiera Hogan. Both women are down. Can you get to her for the cover? Precious seconds being wasted here. Here's the pin attempt from Angelina Love, too. Kiera Hogan needed those extra seconds to gather her composure, dig down deep, and find whatever intestinal fortitude was left to kick out and force this matchup to go into extra innings here. Angelina Love, a veteran of professional wrestling. Kiera Hogan here looking for a huge victory in her career. And to do it over Angelina Love. Oh, but she walked right into that bicycle kick. That pump kick could be it. One, two, three. in singles competition than she had as one half of the connection between her and Uju earlier here today. Well, I mean, she did already get a couple hits in on Uju, so she does have that one up Fair enough. already. Fair enough. Uh, all, all unintended at the time. Now she's going to have to telegraph those shots. And there's a face palm that uh, makes it pretty clear that she doesn't accept blame for that giant L earlier here today, that L in caps lock, if you will. And Uju tried to end it right there. Shot downstairs. Jay doing the smart thing. Uju being one kick. taller than her and of more size, trying to keep her down on that ground there. One. Attempt here again. Do we see that knee brace on Uju as a, a potential weapon, uh, as it were? You know, shouldn't the ref check that? If I've learned anything in the sport of professional wrestling is that if you have a device attached to your body, there is a good chance that it is going to be used at some point as a weapon to inflict damage on your opponent. Although I may not agree with that philosophy, Uju, I think, would be misguided not to employ that strategy, especially if the young man in the zebra shirt did not stop her from uh, starting the match with that knee brace on. Uju. 
to now with a lateral press of her own. Miss J slips out. Some compelling and unique matches scheduled here on part two of this all-day marathon, Ladies' Night Out 9 from the World Gym Arena, streaming live on Title Match Wrestling Network. Certainly one that I am very much looking forward to later on here tonight, Brittany, is Heather Monroe versus Roxy, a matchup that we have not seen yet. One, two, kick out once again from Malia J. I'm very excited for that match. I mean, you have a champ and a champ. I mean, you have two of the top tier competitors going against each other. There, there's no way that it cannot be a good match. Also, Miranda Alizé will be back in action again against Phoebe in a matchup that many would consider one-sided. But again, if we've learned anything, it's that anything can happen, especially here at Ladies' Night Out. And if Phoebe is able to pull off the upset of the century, boy, would that write headlines around the wrestling world. She has confidence, Uju. She knows. Going back to that Miranda and Phoebe, it is... Kick out of two. It is, you know, one-sided, as you say, but already tonight or today, Phoebe has had a win and Miranda has had a loss. That is very true. Phoebe as well, picking up the biggest win of her ladies' night out career. Some would have considered that unexpected, but again, don't sell her short as a talent. Uju, of course, selling her opponent short right now with that pin attempt using just the right boot. Will also determine a number one contender for Ivelisse's LNO crown in our main event when Jordan Grace takes on Sue Young. Last time we saw Sue Young out here, there was glitter and blood everywhere. I mean, Sounds like a night at an Atlanta strip club, quite frankly. I mean, I feel like that's how every ladies night out should end, right? Get no argument here. There was a <laughs> unicorn helmet as well. Elia, split-legged moonsault, one, two, and a kick out there, perfectly executed shades of vintage Rob Van Dam. Even though it was beautiful and it did some damage to Uju, Miss J over here has also done a way more damage to herself. I have to agree with that, especially if our viewers at home had tuned in for the earlier edition of Ladies' Night Out here today, where at one point she was treated like a human crash test dummy, a human pinball, if you will. Even her own tag team partner, who she's in there against right now, made sure to get her licks in. Me, Leah. Underneath. Irish whip into the corner. Uju for a moment there using those royal instincts. Looked like they may have backfired again. Springboard off that top row, Malia! I feel like that would have been a three if she would have been able to catch all of it, but she only caught a little bit of that. It seems Uju's confidence, cockiness is kind of getting the better of her. Have to agree that and, and potentially her anger as well, although she may turn it around right here. Look to finish her off. Roll up here.
Now Brad Gilmore making their debut here tonight at Ladies Night Out 8. Madrid, a.k.a. the Queen of Spain, was last seen at Ladies Night Out. She wrestles the then debuting Alex Gracia, but the first time we're seeing her in a tag team. Vicky B. Vento, a professional bodybuilder as well as a professional wrestler. Well, look at that, Matt Topolsky. Promise in the ring for trouble in Texas. One of the young ladies training here at the Booker T School, Booker T World Team Arena, and the reality of wrestling, hoping to make her debut on reality wrestling television here very, very soon in the coming months. But oh, wow, if she makes it that far. Again, Vicky have been teaming a lot recently and on track to. Uh, become one of the more dominant tag teams in women's professional wrestling, especially here in Texas. They were recommended to Ladies Night Out by Rudy Boy Gonzalez from the Texas Wrestling Academy. Punch their ticket to LNO8 here this evening. On a night when we will crown the first ever Ladies Night Out champion. Oh, wow. Nine very unique matches scheduled seven you've never seen before. Pin attempt right here. From Promise, kick out at two. A little too much showing off right there for a split second from Promise. She may have been able to get that three count had she not celebrated herself a little bit, but it was a great maneuver, and oh, wow. Now we're seeing Trouble in Texas work together, Matt. And Uju warming up one of the buns right there. Face first into the corner. Nicely done, cover here, one, two, kick out. She was warming up one of the buns, you say? You don't have to be Betty Crocker to see that. Line tag. Oh, man. Are we sure they both aren't pro wrestling bodybuilders? I mean, both of these women are in great shape. They look very powerful and strong. Got some strength as well. No! Oh. Face first. Good STO right there from Uju. Of course, one of the pupils of Ember Moon. Didn't get all that drop kick. I'll tell you what, oh. referee Isaac Bullion's gonna have his work laid out for him here tonight. Many more powerful moves like that, he's gonna be jumping through the ceiling. Suplex, but now are they gonna go for the pin? Yeah, they are. Or maybe not. Cover here, one, two. That moment of hesitation allows Uju to slip out and continue this match. She should have been all over there with the lateral press trying to get that three count, but now she's still putting the damage right back on Uju. I like that name, Matt Tepolsky, Uju. I think that might need to go to my firstborn. Austin Crab right now on your potential firstborn. As Uju trying to climb across the ring and make the tag here to promise. Moody Boys girls here putting on quite a show in the oh, opening man. contest here at Ladies Night Out 8. Really is kind of almost a battle of Texas trainers. I mean, you got to go with the team trained by Ember Moon and Booker T or oh. and one, two, kick out. By Rudy Boy up there in North Texas. 
The knees again. Uju's in a bad situation, Matt Topolsky. She's got to make a tag, I promise you. Can she make it to that corner? She's trying to battle through. Uju doing everything that she can. But it is hard to build momentum when you spend so much of your energy inside the ring. Battling against two competitors. It has been some time since Uju has been able to make a tag here. And it's out of the corner there. Promise chomping at the bit. Your opening matchup here at Ladies Night Out 8. Oh, wait. Oh, man. And a big shot to Promise on the outside. That's pissed her off, all right. Now these two women talking smack at each other. But Matt Sposky, look what's going on. Pulling Uju all the way to the other side of the ring when she was so close to getting that tag in. I think Promise did more bad than good by letting her temper flare. Oh man, double knees to the back of Uju. The cover here, one. I don't know how Uju is kicking out at the count of one when she's taking as much damage as she has. I mean, I, I, take, take a rest even for the extra second. <laughs> I know. But that just shows you how much this match means. I mean, I know this is a preliminary match here at Ladies Night Out 8, but these women want to make a statement, not only to the crowd watching here in the World Gym Arena, but to everybody watching around the world via Title Match Network. Boom, oh, man, beautiful, though. Double drop kick, man. This team that Rudy Boy Gonzalez has assembled, very formidable here, number one. Kick out again, Hoochie just won't stay down for the two count. He doesn't want to be late for supper. Now Hoochie back in the corner there. Oh man, just a big chop. You could hear all the way up in San Antonio. As Uju's trying to find a way back in this thing, but staying in the corner of your opponents isn't going to do you any good. And another frequent tag, and Uju has taken on so much offense, and she's been in that ring for the majority of her match, but wait a minute, that might be her open. That might be her open. She's going to the corner mat. Can she do it? This crowd wants to see her make the tag, and she kicks her off. And there it is. The promise. Oh. Face first, this tag team that has been divided for 80% of this matchup oh, has been man. looking for an opportunity to get back into it here. Promise trying to fight out of this one with some big back elbows. Wait a minute, no. Oh my goodness. German suplex with a bridge. Cover here too. And she got, got her. Trouble in Texas with a green check mark in the dub column in their debut here tonight at Ladies Night Out 8. Despite all the punishment that Uju endured, trouble in Texas able to get the victory. Oh, wait a minute. Said referee Isaac Bouillon would have his hands full tonight. Matt Zapolsky, I think that you might be right. Oh, he better have brought a bag lunch with him. Because he is going to be working. No question about it. Trouble in Texas. The team, mentored by Booker T and Ember Moon, get the victory. seeing lawyers on television bragging about how much money they got for a case, so are we.
Walker, Texas lawyer, doesn't brag about dollar amounts because often the settlements he earns for his clients are so large the insurance company asks they be kept confidential. If you or a loved one have been injured in an accident due to someone else's negligence, don't choose the loudest lawyer in the room. Choose the best. Call Walker, Texas lawyer at 713-552-1117. of abuse and punishment one puts on her body. And for Thunder Rosa to be back here just about a week later to compete inside the squared circle, there's no way that she can be 90%, uh, let alone 100%. She's gotta be going about 75% capacity of her normal ability. We don't see her moving, dancing the way that she used to. You can tell she's still feeling the effects of that fight at Combat America. Yeah! Oh. of the first of our double main event here tonight. With Thunder Rosa dropping bombs on Holly Dead. And still to come, the Ladies Night Out Championship will be decided. Ivalice and Miranda Alizé live here on Title Match Network. Face look there by Thunder Rosa. Now Holly dead. These two women, of course, know each other very well. Matt Topolsky inside that square circle, outside that squared circle. You gotta think yeah. that it's gonna be hard to try to get an advantage over one another, being as familiar with each other as well. I'd have to say that the advantage right now has gotta go to Holly Dead, just considering the fact that she wasn't in an octagon a week ago. Oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. You know, I mean, they, they do know each other very well. They've traveled up and down the roads together. They've crossed the border together time and time again to wrestle in Mexico. But the bottom line is this. Thunder Rosa cannot be at 100% coming off of that fight last week. Some might say it was ill-advisable for her to take this match here tonight. Well, I'll tell you what, if professional wrestling fell under the guise of the Texas State Athletic Commission, they would have not cleared her to compete this evening at all. There's no way. I mean, she's not the Don Cerrone here to where you're gonna fight on four days notice. I mean, I, I don't know how advisable this is to long-term success for Thunder Rosa. Thunder Rosa does have the heart of a champion. There's no question about that. That's why every promotion in the world wants her to be a part of it. And of course, they've all seen her right here at Ladies Night Out, whether they'll admit it or not. The standard for women's professional wrestling across the world, hard to argue. Kick out here at two. For those of you who are joining us here for the first time, perhaps on your 14-day free trial, make sure to check out Title Match Network on YouTube as well. Be a part of over 700,000 subscribers. 
the over 200 million. Yeah. And, and, the, and the content on Title Match Network is second to none. I mean, that 14 day no. trial, there's no way you can get through all the great stuff they have on that network. It's like Disney Plus for professional yeah. wrestling. Irish whip here. Thunder Rosa cover here too. And a kick out. It's a testament to Thunder Rosa's athleticism that she's even putting up a fight in here right now, considering the fact that she's less than a week removed from being in actual combat. crazy. You see other Octagon Warriors after a fight, especially one that goes a distance, they might take months off. They might even take, look at Nate Diaz. He took three years off after his five-round fight with Conor McGregor. On the phone here, Thunder Rosa gently walking the tightrope there. Oh, man! Greg Gilmore, these two competed in Ring of Honor as a tag team, and they were one of the most dominant tag teams in women's professional wrestling. Oh, they collide like this here tonight and what will be the final battle between the two of them. They've both been very public about that. You know that they will take it to the next level. And Holly dead out here right in front of us. Honda Rosa surveying the landscape here. Oh! Swing set drop kick through the bottom rope. This is Holly Dead's LNO debut, and she has every intention of returning. Thunder Rosa wants to change that. Rosa up top here. Oh. Look for a cross body off the ring apron. And Holly Dead oh, no. again. Oh my goodness! Fight first! to the steel post from her former tag team partner. And there is a level of seriousness, a nervous hush, if you will, that has come over this crowd here at Ladies Night Out after that. That is a career changer, what we just witnessed. Oh. And now Holly Dead goes face first into the other post. How in the hell is Thunder Rosa standing on her own two feet? I don't know, Re referee Isaac Bouillon being very liberal with his 10 count. He knows this is the final encounter between these two women and he wants a clear and defined winner, as do the rest of us. Thunder Rosa. Her energy level is incredible. Arnon Conrada off the ring wow. apron. And you just stated it right there. Her energy level is off the charts. Phenomenal. How she is able to stay in this matchup and take the fight to Holly Dead after everything she's endured in the last week and everything that's occurred in this match in the last few minutes. And yet right now, Thunder Rosa is the one who's setting the pace in there. No, what's Thunder Rosa thinking here? Oh! Whether you're a hollow dead or alive, that doesn't feel too good. Isaac Bouillon being a little bit liberal with the rules overall here this evening. Thunder Rosa, not her chippy, cheery self here tonight to start off this matchup. But she has kept it in gear, and she's turning it up to the next gear, taking the fight to Holly Dead. <laughs> In 
this right here is why Thunder Rosa is on the radar of every major promoter in professional wrestling. Is there another female athlete in the game today that can bring it quite like she can? Missed the mark there, however. As her former tag team partner trying to string together any momentum she can at all. Oh my good God! But downstairs that says, wake up and smell the coffee thunder roast. Mason Dixon line. Oh, look at that. Reverse Boston Crab, and now she's got to pull her up by her arms. Look at that. Well, I think there's a height requirement for this ride. I'm not quite sure Thunder Rosa has met it. Holly Dead doesn't give a damn. It did about as much to insult Thunder Rosa as it did injure her. Pin attempt here. Drops that big leg across the throat of Thunder Rosa. Holly Dead now. Again, just cannot string together enough offense. Oh, man. To take over here. Puede champ. Breaking out here at the World Gym Arena. And yes, you can, Thunder Rosa, come back and win this match. But she's got Paula dead. In a very uncomfortable position to be in. Wait a minute, reverse. Many similarities between these two. They have ridden up and down the rows together. They have made a career for themselves with each other. Formerly one of the most dominant tag teams in the game. They are colliding here tonight live on Title Match Network at Ladies Night Out. A, a shot right there to the head. What a kick. Coming back from Holly Den, a receipt of her own. Free up to a count of three, four. Oh! How is Thunder Rosa able to still have this? level of energy this deep into the match. There is a spirit that burns inside oh. of her that we see in few competitors. One of the best that I've ever seen here at Ladies Night Out, if not the number one. As you said, nice hesitation drop kick. It's a cover to Holla Dead, Matt. Cover one, two, no! Skateboarded that drop kick in, still wasn't enough. And now Thunder Rosa climbing up to high altitude. Will this risk pay off? No, but she saw that it wasn't going to. Able to land on her feet, swing through. But wait a minute, Holla Dead, oh! The long clothesline picks Thunder Rosa back up by her scalp. One, two, no! Giant boot to the head. Rearranging the equilibrium of Thunder Rosa, even if just for a minute, but it's not enough to keep her down. But perhaps it sets the table for this right here. Wait a minute. Rosa, roll, through. roll up one, two, no! No! Oh. Oh. Big kicks 
from Thunder Rosa to all the dead and alive. Spine Buster Man. A Spine Buster that make Arn Anderson proud, but isn't enough. It's still not enough. Thunder Rosa slips out the back door. And this marathon of athleticism and brutality continues. Roll up. Oh! Thunder Rosa connects flush with that knee to the jaw. Will that be enough? It will not. Holly dead. Muscle memory. Her heart continues to beat. She's kicking out. And now Thunder Rosa again climbing up to the high rank district. Second rope, Holly dead, catches Thunder Rosa, mid-air. Oh. That's gotta be it, that's gotta be it. One, two, no, no, no! Thunder Rosa won't stay down either. A battle of attrition, a battle of wills. The story of pain and agony written across the face of Thunder Rosa as she drags herself across that ring to reach the bottom rope and live to fight another day. And she got to it. All the dead having to break the count up before that five. Rosa here, look at this, Brad. Looking for a submission maneuver. She's got her in that guillotine choke. Well, there's that MMA background, or that MMA training, rather, not even background, that MMA training coming into play. She had her in that guillotine. Holly Dead just has too much power. And perhaps just a little bit more gas in the tank. And now both climbing to the penthouse level here. Holly Dead. Knee strike, knee strike. Looking for a third. Thunder Rosa, headbutt. And Holly dead now, doing everything she can not to be planted oh. into the tree of woe. But she goes head first. If she can get the cover, that's gotta be all Matt Topolsky. Cover here. One, two, no, no. Holly dead kicks out. Saw war. One, two, no. Thunder Rosa planted head first into the mat. That has to be it. She can't get up from this. You've got to be kidding. Wow. Pin attempt Another. again from Holly Dead. Thunder Rosa will not stay down. Holly Dead will not stay down. What is it gonna take for either one of these women to succeed to get the W here tonight? Gonna and go ladies for it again. Eight. She was, Holly Dead was trying to go for that move again, but Thunder Rosa able to counter out of it. Swing and a miss. Thunder Rosa shot to the temple. She knows it's not enough. Now, climbing up top, Thunder Rosa ascending all the way to the top. Oh! Kuda Grot to the back! One, two, three! For the last time ever, Thunder Rosa and Holly Dead go one on one. And it was a war. This 
is Title Match Network's Ladies' Night Out. Tonight, we invade the East Coast in partnership with AML Wrestling. Don't forget to hit subscribe for more exclusive Ladies' Night Out action right here on Title Match Network. We talk about it being a great test for Double D Rose to find out where she is in her career. This is a great test for Harlow O'Hara as well, the current Battle Club Pro Icons champion. This is a non-title match, but Harlow O'Hara capturing that title some months ago and continuing to prove that there is more gold in her future. She is a legitimate item, that is for sure. Go to the mind games here early. And some potential thrusting as well as Harlow tries to pray away the sin. Trust me when I say she won't be joining the gospel choir anytime soon. And the two of these will test each other early here. With the aforementioned and often repeated collar and elbow tie up. And Double D forcing Harlow back into the corner here early on. Rarely do you see Harlow O'Hara being overpowered by an opponent, but that's what makes this matchup so compelling. Dare I say Double D Rose has the size advantage on Harlow. Goes to lock up again here, waist lock from behind, this time from the Battle Club Pro Icons champion. Harlow also making a name for herself in Shimmer, Fest, and Rise. Over two solid years straight now in the sport of professional wrestling. Her third appearance all in in LNO. Oh! And a shot there to the backside, but um, buns of steel, if you will. Harlow misjudged it. Wow, look at that! Very impressive athleticism, pin attempt, but it is broken up. Double D Rose, an eight-year veteran of the sport of professional wrestling. She loves to implement that brawler and powerhouse style. Schoolgirl here, roll up. Kick out at two. Trained by Jay Fury and A.R. Fox. She too has seen her fair share of work inside the rings of Evolve, Shine, Shimmer, and Rise. Bringing her talents to the premier division of women's professional wrestling, Ladies' Night Out. Leaps over the top there, and Harlow early on here facing some damage and some punishment that she is not accustomed to. Again, facing a competitor that matches up power for power with Harlow. Very rare that you'll find that inside the ring. opportunity to catch up with Double D Rose earlier here tonight. You know, she made it very clear. She said, I am not the norm. I am not your typical professional wrestler inside the squared circle, especially for the women's division. She says, I am athletically deceiving, and I do things that a 180-pound woman typically should not be able to do. When the dust settles, the world will know to never trust a big butt and a smile. Those are her words, not mine. Pin attempt here from Harlow. Pin attempt again. Kick out once again. And a friendly reminder for everybody at home, Ladies Night Out 8 comes live to Title Match Network November the 16th. You can find out more information right now at titlematchnetwork.com. Also, if you will be in the greater Houston Metroplex and you want to be a part of that event live, go to LNOTix. That's LNOTix.com. And you can see us there. Oh! Charge! 
Lunging into the corner there with a European uppercut. The altar beginning to burn at the Church of Harlow here. And Harlow O'Hara now beginning to impose her will. As AML gets its first taste of ladies' night out action and it has not disappointed. Session of shots downstairs, five, six kicks. Snapmare takeover. And Double D Rose starting to find out why Harlow O'Hara's dark star is on the rise. Telegraph that shot there, swing and a miss. Oh, but did not miss there, Harlow O'Hara. Telegraphs that knee, got all of it into the shoulder. Wasn't enough. Perhaps even grazed the chin a little bit. Now a palm strike. Well placed. Oh, and look at that shot coming back. A close fist and a forearm. And now an elbow from Harlow O'Hara. And these two just standing and trading in the center of the ring. Oh, this has turned into a Pier 6 brawl. Make no mistake about it. If you have come here for wrist locks and arm drags, you've come to the wrong place. Steel boot right there to the sternum. You know, Major League Baseball is about to set the single season home run record, and there have been a few home runs hit in this matchup. Both of these athletes swinging for the fences here under the bright lights of AML and LNO. And now Double D Rose coming back. High knee to the face. Blocks that shot there from O'Hara. Looking for a backslide attempt. No, no, no. She has more nefarious thoughts in her mind. Doubles up there. A flurry of offense. Pin attempt. Center of the ring. She almost got her. My goodness. That is a near fall, ladies and gentlemen. Suplex got her over. Will it be enough? Hooks the leg. Two. Two and eight tenths. That is two and 99%. Oh no, and the official got caught in no man's land. And just got a close, up close and personal view of the destruction that all of us have been seeing inside that squared circle. And now Harlow O'Hara. who may be the purveyor of her own religion. Well, I guess that includes the father, the son, and the steel chair. Oh, wait a second. Consider that a little bit of blowback. Harlow O'Hara may have bit off a little bit more than she can chew here tonight. Oh my 
goodness. And the official a bit confused here as he comes to and has no idea the unusual circumstances which have just unfolded in this matchup. And by disqualification, Harlow O'Hara will continue her winning streak here on the ladies' night out brand. And with a wink and a wave, she heads to the back. And her opponent is still trying to figure out how this entire thing went down. Your winner, Harlow O'Hara. This is Title Match Network's Ladies Night Out. Don't forget to hit subscribe for more exclusive Ladies Night Out action right here on Title Match Network. One of the things that many of our fans at home will discover about Roxy if this is the first time that they are seeing her in action. Is they look at her and they say she's 18 years old. She looks young, she looks innocent, she looks vibrant. Here's the thing, and I found this out a few weeks ago when she captured that Diamonds title. This young lady has a lot of guts. She's a lot of determination and when necessary, she has one hell of a mean streak. And that is exactly it. Roxy, again, she's 18, she's young, she looks innocent but looks can be deceiving, and there's a reason she's called the Prodigy. You don't just pick that name. You are given that name. That is a treat that you get to have, and that is something she has earned, and now is the Diamond Division champion, and she's gonna prove here with Vanity exactly why. Vanity known as the bombshell of ladies wrestling competed in Women's Wrestling Revolution. Women of Warriors from New York, a seven-year veteran now in the sport of professional wrestling. And this may be a situation in which Roxy will learn a lot. Again, in combat sports, you have those wily veterans. You have the athletes that come around and they, they, they're the roadblock. They test, if you will young champions, or in this case, a prodigy. And I think that is exactly what lies before Roxy, and she's finding out right now that Vanity is a lot more nimble on her feet than she looks. And that's the thing is, again, looks can be deceiving. Vanity, you look at her and you think that she's just gonna go in and ground and pound, but she can be a technical wrestler with the best of them. Trained by Pat Buck up a Jersey. I mean, she, she holds herself as a New York Jersey girl, and they have a lot of grit to them. I don't know if Roxy's getting out from that. Yeah, those legs, great find around the head of Roxy, but look at, oh my. Roxy, a bit of a Houdini as well. There's that edge. There's that edge I was talking about. I like it. I like it. It's, it's so good, and you know, again, it's unpredictable with her. Prodigy, magician. What else can we add to Roxy's list? They 
often say that contrasting styles make for great fights, and I think that's exactly what we have here. Vanity brings a lot of power to the table, but Roxy just brings that extra something, along with a little bit of grace and, uh, and that right there, the spark. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what I would call that, a spark. Wrist control from the Prodigy followed up with a drop toe hold. Inside Cradle, perfectly executed. Roxy right now writing the manual on offense and starting to take control of this matchup. I mean, how could you not be impressed with Roxy? I mean, oh. And I'm not sure what the official is doing here. There is no timeout in professional wrestling. I mean, and, I guess uh, Vanity persuaded him to give her a timeout? I guess he did. Yeah! Now the Prodigy dumped unceremoniously to the mat. This might actually help Roxy in giving her a little bit of a breather. Roxy pulls Vanity to the outside and now going to work here. I think Roxy decided after that uh, mishap, if you will, with the official a moment ago that, uh, as they say, the Emperor has no clothes. She is ignoring the man in the zebra shirt right now and just going to work with her own game plan. The Prodigy. Double knees in the corner, missed the mark. Vanity rolls her up. Roxy slips out. See, that's that veteran in her. She knows. As much an avalanche as it is a lariat, kick out at two. Really, really good test for Roxy in this matchup here with Vanity. Now being the Diamonds Division champion, being the youngest champion, she's got not just a target, but like a giant neon sign on her back and everyone's gonna be gunning for her, and this is a chance for Vanity to say, I beat your champion. It would certainly be a very bright feather in the cap of Vanity. That's right, Vanity taking pride in the fact that she has put a sleeper hold on the Roxy fans in attendance here at Ladies' Night Out. She definitely sucked the air out of all of those fans that were gunning for Roxy. Second suplex in a row from Vanity. Beginning to impose her will, if you will, on the 18-year-old prodigy. For Roxy herself, this is, oh. This is something she has to get used to, though. If she's going One, to continue two. continue to be the champion, she's going to have opponents like this that are going to be out for blood. No question about it. Every single one of them coming for the queen. No better way to make a name for yourself than to end the momentum and the story of Roxy in 2020. Roxy, European uppercut in the corner, pulls the rug out from under Vanity, double knees to the face, and now Roxy going for broke here. One, two! A narrow escape from Vanity, but it is enough to force a 10th inning in this encounter. Roxy looks like she's getting a little frustrated here. Yeah. 
Well, Roxy is not going to overpower Vanity. I was going to say, as much as tenacity as Roxy have, I do not think that she can lift Vanity. That is called the cookie cutter, courtesy of Vanity, and it will have Roxy singing tenor when this is over. One, two, but the prodigy wraps those five digits around the bottom rope, and we're headed to an 11th inning. That hurts, by the way, just so you know. And you see the crowd chanting, ring awareness. That's exactly what this prodigy has, is ring awareness, to wrap her hands around that rope and save herself. Roxy looking like she doesn't know what to do anymore. How can she keep Vanity down for a three count? And Roxy at this point just needs to stay on Vanity. Vanity looks rattled by the 18-year-old prodigy and this flurry of offense, which has turned into a blizzard. Roxy shoots through the ropes, looks for a schoolgirl. Knee to the jaw. Roxy lays her out! But can't she roll Vanity over here? Hooks both legs, two, three! The Prodigy with the dog. wrestling, more specifically in women's professional wrestling, there's no better way to do it than to grab the gold and its prestige brand. And here it is. The bell rings. And the main event, the Ladies Night Out Championship begins. And that's some trash talk between the two. Evil East said to me earlier that she thinks that Miranda has tried to copy her, her game plan. She's trying to copy her path to success, not only at Ladies Night Out, but in all of professional wrestling. On, she's here tonight to prove that she's not only the top star here at Ladies Night Out, but she's better than Miranda. Okay. Hey. Elise recently appeared on AEW's All Out pay-per-view, along with her L06 opponent, Jazz. She's arguably the hottest free agent in women's professional wrestling. Miranda, as we both have had a front row seat for, has turned much more violent, much more intense since debuting here at a ladies' night out. She's wrestled the likes of Scarlett Bordeaux, Holly Rex, and Malice Rossi along the last three ladies' night out editions. And uh, seriously harmed every single woman she stepped in the ring with. As a matter of fact, even Lisa's is the first that I can remember seeing that she didn't attack before the bell rang. We've seen Eva Lee's compete in some high profile contests here at Ladies Night Out as well. She's no stranger 
to danger, including stepping inside the steel cage. Matt Topolsky, you mentioned earlier about Miranda. I mean, you were ringside there for that match that set the internet on fire, 50 million views and counting. What do you think that that does to the psyche and the confidence of a competitor like Miranda? I think it's an excellent question. You know, it's, it's hard to get inside Miranda's head. I think it's hard for anybody to get inside Miranda's head because she's such a different competitor, different athlete, has a different mindset than so many people. She doesn't like to take the comfortable way out. She recently moved to Mexico so that she can start establishing herself as an athlete in the sport of professional wrestling down there. Many people would say that's not the best of ideas for Miranda, but for her, she said, I'm going to go ahead and take the risk anyway. I'm going to get after it. So for me, I think that she has a different mindset than my athletes will see compete here at Ladies Night Out. And for that, I don't think that she let it get to her head. But it's hard not to when you consider the fact that for a time, it was the most popular match in the world. And there was something about her performance that night as well that I think really set it off. I mean, you can talk about the novelty of Joey Ryan all you want to, but Miranda went out there and gave him the fight of a lifetime. Absolutely. She absolutely did. And oh, now she's trying to bring the same energy and bring the same fight to Eva Lee's. Headbutt there by Miranda on Evil East. Elbow from Evil East returning fire here on Miranda. Both athletes now perched on the outside of the ring on the ring apron. There must be a winner for the Ladies' Night Out Championship here tonight. Face first goes Alize hardest part of the ring. And Brad Gilmore, I am just getting word right now that the winner of this matchup here tonight, the woman that captures the Ladies' Night Out Championship, will defend that title at WrestleCade, live on pay-per-view at TitleMatchNetwork.com against Kiera Hogan. Oh, wow. And Diamante. <laughs> oh, my goodness. To a triple threat match. This is breaking news. He lays that out the edge. Incredible. These women fight right in front of us. Oh, face first! And the ladies' night out logo may be planted across the cheek and forehead of Miranda Alize. You're wondering, the referee almost got it to a count of 10 there. You wonder who would be declared champion then. I mean, it would be a no contest, one would assume, but I don't think that anybody wants to see that. Well, I would say at that point, they would probably restart the damn match. I mean, there has to be a winner here tonight. But that is the interesting part of all this, is that you can, for one of the only times you'll ever see in professional wrestling, win a title on a count out or a disqualification. There will be a winner of that Ladies' Night Out Championship. fight and they love fighting one another and they both want to be the champion. And if we go to overtime, Matt, where can the people see it? If this matchup extends beyond the live stream, you will be able to see it momentarily. Hold on, Hold on here. It could be over right now. Kick out at two. You'll be able to see it in mere moments after that at TitleMatchNetwork.com. And of course, as 
as always, there will be some exclusive behind the scenes access that you can't get anywhere else to Ladies Night Out 8 tomorrow at flagsports.com. Flag Sports is culture. Face first into the top turnbuckle. This time goes Ivelisse. And now Miranda taking a chunk out of her opponent. Oh, man. Somebody get this lady a sandwich. Trying to do that cannonball that we know that she does in that corner. Not able to pull it off, and look at that. A knee to the face. Ivelisse had it scouted. Beautiful move by Ivelisse. Well, Brad Gilmore, it hasn't been pretty, but it has been violent. It's definitely been violent, but I didn't think that we were gonna see you know, Matt Classic between these two. One, two! Miranda gets the shoulder up. Miranda definitely now holding, clinching onto their face, clinching onto that nose, the area. They caught the knee of Ivelisse. Oh! An attempt here to win the ladies' night out title. Kicks out again. Oh, Elise now in control of the tempo of this match. First time in a while that we have seen Durant in a defensive position. Look how violent she's been in recent months. Elise establishing herself, imposing her will. One, two. Ziva Lee's now getting a bit frustrated with the official, but the official in excellent position. And the cadence on the count was perfect. That is not the issue at all. The issue for Ziva is she cannot keep Miranda Alizé down. Will this be enough to capture the title? One, two. Fist raining down on Miranda, and the official has to separate the two. She is unable to crawl across the ring. 
and get a pin attempt. And Isaac Bullion initiating this count. Up to six. Another big drop kick to Ivelisse. Ivelisse almost looking lifeless there. To capture One, the ladies' two. night out championship. Ivelisse stays alive. Ivelisse got out of dodge at the last moment there as Miranda was looking for that shining window. What a brutal, brutal kick to the side of the head to win the Ladies Ooh. Night Out Championship. No. The pendulum continues to swing back and forth, back and forth in this main event. Where tonight, a champion will be crowned for the first time at the eighth All Women's Invitational. Elise was looking for that trap T-bone suplex. Miranda battles out. Code breaker. Will that be enough? One, two on the package pin. Eva Lee breaks out. Trying to beat Miranda, but Miranda had her on the shoulders, Matt. She's got her on the shoulders. Sunset flip here from Eva Lace. Oh, trying to go for a knee. Miranda misses, but then, excuse me, Eva Lee misses. Miranda ducks, and then she hit her the second time around. Champion! 
and she got her! She got her! In a seesaw war between two of the finest athletes at Ladies' Night Out, the crown jewel has claimed her place atop the world's finest brand of women's professional wrestling. Your winner is the new Ladies' Night Out champion, Eva Lise. We want to thank everyone for joining us here tonight live on Title Match Network for the eighth edition of the All Women's Invitational. And we send our sincere congratulations to Eva Lise, the first in history to hold LNO gold. For Ladies Night Out, and for Title Match Network, and for Brad Gilmore, I'm Matt Topolsky. From the World Gym Arena, we say good night.